All right, we're talking about unit vectors and the addition and subtraction of vectors. And I've got an example here. Suppose that vector A is 10ax minus 4ay plus 6az, and vector B is twice ax plus ay. Now before we get to the actual problem, let's first discuss what it is exactly that these things mean. So vector A, Vector A is 10 times a unit vector in the x direction, i.e. 10 units down x axis. And then minus 4 times the unit vector in the y direction, so minus 4, so 4 down um, so negative y axis. And then plus 6 times a unit vector in the z direction, so, so uh, 10 minus 4 is 6, and B similarly is twice uh, or two two steps in the x direction, one unit in the y direction, and zero in the z direction. Okay, so given that, then find the component of a along a y. So let's do that first. So we're going to do a here. Find the component of a along a y. Well, um, we can just do this by inspection. So by inspection, by inspection, I look at that and I see that the component of A along the, the y-axis is minus 4. So we, we, just, we can just read that off. How about that? If only life was that simple. Minus 4 is the answer there. Okay, so now we look at B. B is the magnitude of 3 times vector A minus vector B magnitude. So our answer should be a number, not a vector. And so let's start with by taking 3 times A uh, yeah, 3 times vector A. So 3 times vector A is simply 3 times each component. So this becomes 30 in the x direction. So 30 times a unit vector in that x direction. Um, minus, so 3 times 4 is 12 in the y direction. Plus 3 times 6 is 18 in the z direction. So that's 3 times A, right? And then we need to subtract that from B. So 3a minus b, right? So I've got 30 in the x direction, then minus 2 in the x direction. So that becomes 28 in the x direction. Okay, and then for the y direction, I've got minus 12 and then minus 1. So that becomes minus 13 times this unit vector in the y direction. Okay, and then for the z direction, I have 18 and then a 0 here, so I have plus 18 in the z direction. Okay, so I want the magnitude of this thing. So the magnitude of 3a minus b, how do we get the magnitude? Well, remember we do the square root of the sum of the squares, so we're going to take, we go, we go, down the x-axis by 28 units. So we're going to square 28 and then add to that we go down the y-axis minus 13 units. So we're going to square minus 13 and then we're going to also square 18 and then we're going to take the square root of that. Alright, so we do that and we're just going to keep three sig figs here and we get 35.7 Okay, so that's the answer to part B. Now part C then is a unit vector along A plus 2B. So let's, uh, I'll, I'll do part C over here, give us some space. Let's first compute this vector A plus twice B. So when we do that, so let's see if we can do it a little bit quicker now. We're going to take um, component wise, we have 10 in the x direction and then 2 times 2 in the x direction. So that's 4 and 10, so that's 14 in the x direction. Okay, and then we have minus 4 in the y direction, and then 2 times 1, so that's 2 and minus 4, that makes minus 2 in the y direction. And then finally in the z direction, we have 6, and then twice 0, so that just still makes 6. Okay, so that's our, that's our vector a plus 2b, right? Okay, and so now I need a unit vector that points along the same direction. So what do we need to do to that vector? Well, we just take that vector, 
right? And we divide it by its own, own length. So what is its length? Again, so that's 14 squared plus minus 2 squared plus 6 squared. I'm going to take the square root. Okay, so that square root then, uh, and, and so we take 14 over that square root, and we take minus 2 over that square root, and we take 6 over that square root, and we keep three significant digits, and what do we get? We get 0 0.911 in the x direction, okay, minus 0 0.130 in the y direction, and 0 0.391 in the z direction. And so that's it. That's our answer.